of optimism and gratitude during his meeting with President Admiral Barrow. Mr. Pascal described the Gambia as a beautiful country where he is inspired by the passion of the Gambian people. Bindi Jalo has more details in his report. As his mission in the country near its end, Mr. Pascal described the Gambia as a beautiful country where he is in inspired by the passion of the Gambian people. Mr. Pascal said, it is difficult to say goodbye and leave the smiling coast of Africa. But he is going to leave this beautiful country with a sense of optimism inspired by the passion of the Gambian people who express for the completion of promised democracy and economic reforms including justice and accountability. Um, uh, this is um, probably the fifth time I've had a chance to meet with uh, His Excellency the President. Uh, I always find these meetings to be substantive and noteworthy. Uh, because of the issues we discuss together. Uh, our two countries are partners, our two countries are friends and allies, and uh, as a result, we can speak honestly and candidly with each other about the challenges we each face, but also our resolve uh, to, uh, to confront those challenges and find solutions uh, together as partners. Uh, this is my farewell courtesy call on President Barrow. I'll be departing the Gambia in the near future. My successor, Ambassador Sharon Cromer, will be arriving in just a few weeks uh, to pick up uh, where I left off. I'm fortunate to have a tremendously capable and committed team of Gambians and Americans at the U.S. Embassy seeking to advance uh, our, to our mutual benefit and the benefit of our people, the Gambian American people, um, constitution-based, uh, accountable democratic governance that provides government services in the interest of the people. And uh, I think we share that desire, that vision, and we'll continue to work together to that end. Ambassador Pascal said when he arrived in March 2019, it was thrilling to sense the excitement of a citizenry who just over two years earlier demonstrated to the world their commitment to democracy values by peacefully voting for change despite intimidation and repression. The United States is firmly committed to its relationship with the Gambia and support the government of the Gambia as the country strengthens democratic institutions and focuses on economic growth. The U.S. has rendered numerous support to boost democracy, trafficking in persons, fiscal transparency, capacity building, electoral reform, security, human rights, education, media freedom, agricultural expansion, rural development, refugee support services, and the fight against HIV and AIDS. In addition, the Peace Corps maintains a large program with about 140 volunteers engaged in the environment, agriculture, public health, and education sectors, mainly at the village level. Over the years, the U.S. has provided military training assistance to the Gambia in line with Gambia's security sector reform efforts. For IFK News, Bintijalo.